Good morning, guys. It is currently um, 10 a.m. and I'm so excited. I just booked our Walt Disney World Hotel. Um, so I thought when you booked it, you had to put down the full amount. Nope, I was wrong. You only had to put down the deposit. You had to pay one night and then you booked the whole thing. Um, I wasn't sure how to do it, but um, the lady worked it out with me. She helped me figure it out. And that made my life a lot easier. Um, she was very, very sweet. And I was able to book the whole thing in literally a few seconds. I had to pay like $152 deposit. But um, I'm very happy. So whatever is left, because I just got the money back from Universal. It would take the 10 to 14 days. I got it back in a day. Like literally a day or two. So that's pretty crazy. So I put down the money. Um, I was going to change everything. I was going to um, change the day. So originally, I thought it was like, let me just take off a day of Disney so I could pay the whole thing today. Nope. I only had to pay the deposit. So I had the day back and then just paid for the deposit, and that's it. And I looked at dining plans. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do that. Uh, I'm going to have to research more into it. Um... Yeah, everything is booked, and when I start working again, I'm going to talk to my mom about it, because she is used to this. She's taken me to Disney as a child, and I'm going to have to ask her if it's really worth it. Um, so, like, um, I'll put on the screen from you guys the four different dining plans and the prices. Um, it's And these are per night, by the way. But um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm gonna stop recording. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to eat some food. And... Then I'm going to unplug my computer and everything because I promised Caitlin that she could have the computer the whole day. But um, I'm very happy that it's paid for and done. And we don't have to worry about it. We just have to worry about paying it off on the day of. But um, today's going to be a good day. Alright guys, so I'm vlogging another room in the house because Caitlin's currently um, talking with her mom. So I'll give you an update. Um, yeah. Memory Maker paid off. Our Mickey um, Halloween night paid off. All done. Basically, I'll kind of explain. We also got the dining plan. So, um, we get two quick service meals. That could be going into like a food court setting in a restaurant in Disney. And we could literally go up, take the food, and sit down. That sell counts quick service. A table setting is a reservation. And that's very, very cool. Um... When you come closer, we want to change your dining plan to do a table setting. We may, but the cool thing is when we're there, we are going to be there for the Food and Wine Festival. And I didn't know that. And that's very, very cool. Um, they told me on November 1st in the parks, there is, they start literally putting up Christmas stuff. And obviously we're not going to be there for Christmas. Um, we're going to come back, um... We're gonna. I want to try and go to Disney again, two plus times, in 2021. Um, obviously, we're gonna go now. We don't know if we're gonna do Universal, but with the money from Universal that I got back from my tickets, we were able to pay off the Disney experience, the Disney. Um, how do I say it? Disney Mickey Halloween thing. Uh, the Memory Maker, the Disney, the Dining Plans, I'll put all the links down below. So if you guys want to book your own trip, you can look at it yourself. Um, I may actually make a video on tips and tricks on Walt Disney World myself, because I know a lot about it that I've learned from other channels, and that I will reference their channels down below, so you guys can look at the information yourself. Um, and also, I'll mention Walt Disney World stuff. But, um... I got a lot done today, and I did all this in two hours. I was on the phone with the lady for an hour. I connected my flights. I got my tickets. I changed my just room um, to a package, so I come with a dining plan. I got the memory maker. The memory maker purchase is actually added to our package, so that's good. I got it set up where they are going to be excuse me, sending us luggage tags 30 days before. So, this is an interesting part. So, when you book a Walt Disney trip, you have to pay 
for one night. And then you have a certain amount of time to pay off the whole entire thing. And so I have from now to September 5th to pay $2,065 to pay off the whole entire thing. That is the Memory Maker and that is the Knights at Walt Disney World All-Star Music Resort. And I have until then to pay it off, but obviously I'm going to do it before then. Um, it'll be done by like June. Um, so, and then I'll have July, August, September to save all that money and plus before then to pay it off. But I'm very happy. I'm very happy with everything today. I'm about to finish watching Hook with Caitlin. Today has been a very good day, guys. We got a lot done and there's a lot of things off our list that need to be done. And the only thing left is to pay for this. And that's it. And I'm happy. I'm very happy. So, guys... Let you go. I'll talk to you later, and I'm gonna go back to watching Hook and eat some food, and then I don't know what I'm doing with my day. I have no idea. Hey guys, I'm a drunk penguin. So today has been a good day. We got a lot of stuff done. Um, it's been an okay day. It's been a good day for me and us. It has sucked for me. It's been a good day because we got all our Disney stuff done. I have to file for unemployment. She's not fired, by the way, guys. I'm not. I'm on what they call furlough, but it still sucks. My hair's a mess. Oh, it's okay, honey. You're still pretty. So, um, I found out today that I technically can't go back to work until April 1st, so that's fun. And, um, you know, my doctor's note says I can go back to 30th. But the company said I can't go back to the 31st. So, it uh, looks like I can go back to April 1st. So, um, the only thing left to do for Disney guys is pay off the hotel. And while Caitlin is unemployed, I'm going to be working on paying that off myself. Yes, I just did. It's kind of fair. It actually does make sense that I'm doing it because... The original trip was paid for by her. I didn't even get to pay my half. So me paying off this will help a ton. So I'm going to do my best to pay it off. So I'll be able to go back to fully reinstated on the 31st. I'm going to have to call my company tomorrow because they told me to submit paperwork for emergency paid leave. But I already did that a few days ago. So what? I'm so confused. So basically, um, I have to submit that tomorrow, and yeah, but today's been a good day. I'm happy with how everything worked out, and um, Friday we we'll most likely have to make a venture out into the great library. Yep, we have to take money out for her part for Disney. You don't have to do 350. You don't have to. We'll do 300, like we agreed. So, I'll kind of break down the whole rules and sets that we set up last year. We take out 350 every two weeks. Me, I'll be taking out 350 if I can. Um, but we only stopped doing that for emergencies, and there was a lot of emergencies back in 2019, and that's why a lot of vacations between 2018 and 2019 were basically canceled because of emergency situations. But... Um, and there's other reasons why it didn't happen. Lots of jobs and family stuff. But simply, a lot of it was emergencies. But in a situation like this, um, when she gets unemployment, we'll figure out what she's making. And we'll go from there and what she'll be taking out every two weeks to help out with the trip. Um, but mainly my job is to pay off this and then we'll go from there. We've already kind of figured out what days we're going to do when we go to Disney. The day we arrive, we have no idea what we're going to do. Um, we just may get the lay of the land. We may just get the lay of the land, even though I've gone to Disney many times. We may go to Disney Springs that day. Because we all we have to do is take a bus. And we don't have to worry about Ubers. This time, like the first original trip that we were going to do in like literally a month from now. But as that is not happening because i won't be able to start working until april 1st so we would have a month and two weeks of savings and plus universal is not opening at the end of the month it's not opening till after the 19th of april i just heard the news today so i'm not surprised because i knew something like that was going to happen um because everything that's happening right now so 
Um, there was a lot going on, but simply it comes down to her final for our employment on Friday, me starting work. Isn't it? Wednesday is my, uh, my main day. Isn't that tomorrow? No, I can't file until after this Friday. So you, that's my last technical day of work. So you can't file this week, but next yes. Wednesday, Wednesday. So next Wednesday she can file, but I do have to call my insurance tomorrow to renew my insurance for this year because I forgot to do it. And I have to call Lowe's Corporation tomorrow to talk to them about the emergency paid leave because I already submitted it. So why? They're telling me to submit the paperwork when I can't. Because the only way for me to get in the system is going to the store. And if I go in the store, my boss and everyone there will make a catapult and they'll catapult me through the roof. I cannot go into the building as I am because I'm sick. So because of that, I can't do it myself. They have to do it for me. Does that make sense? So basically, guys, the rest of this is going to be pretty simple. She's going to do what she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. Nail salons are closed. My nails look terrible. File right there. Um, I'm seeing if I have a better one. Okay. So, she's doing her crap. Doing what she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. I really oh, don't. Oh, I forgot. I have a bag tag. What the fuck did you get this? Uh, oh, I forgot to mention. Disney segment is laundry tags. And we can get our own I magic bands when we ever got one. Got it for my birthday when I first started working at Claire's one. Oh, hey, also, the limited edition luggage tags, instead of paying 24 we can pay 10 bucks, and I might purchase two of them. Yes. Are they, is this dirty? It just came out of the box, so probably. Smell that. I don't. Smells like chemicals and paint. <coughs> so, I am going to purchase them eventually, um, because the limited editions, you can purchase, but guess what? You don't get them to your house, they get delivered to your hotel. But... Hey, I can set them up myself because I did them originally. But the luggage tags we purchased, that we act, we're actually getting our own luggage tags. So we're not paying for it. Disney sending to us um, in September. And we can check into our hotel in August. That's pretty sick. But our hotel won't be ready. Be, uh, technically, check-in is not till 3 o'clock. But we can check in 60 days in advance. That's so weird. But it's cool. Um, there's a lot of things about Disney I didn't know. But I'm very happy about it. But if I knew about this whole Disney thing months ago that I could actually book it, I'm telling you, we probably still couldn't do it because we wouldn't have the money. But now this gives me a long time of saving and a long time of a lot of things. But my only focus right now is, not kidding, saving for this trip. So thank you guys for watching the video. I've talked so much. What? Honey, you're crazy no matter what, but you're still amazing. So, thank you guys. I love you. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.